Kiwi, you're a genius. It's more Chris Lee, aka C Easy, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the lifestyle. Peep the OG freaking background, and welcome back to another video. So, in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'll be showing off my graphic tee collection. And the craziest thing about this is that I've had a lot of these pieces for a minute, and I never really thought that like people would actually be interested in like you know seeing the graphic tee collection until like you know something just popped up on my feed. It was like, oh, my graphic tee collection. I'm just like, bro. No freaking way. I literally have so many nice graphic tees that I can literally go in and showcase. So you guys, you know how I'm coming. Cause if you know anything about me, here on my channel, I talk about business and fashion. And when it comes to that fashion drip, I love graphic tees because you can style them with so many different items. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can go in with regular fits, throw on some freaking shorts. And you know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want with it. So in this video specifically, I'm going go over each one of these pieces. I'm gonna let you guys know where I was able to get them. And I'm gonna tell you why I love that individual piece so much. I got about 14 to 16 pieces up here. I don't wanna waste you guys time, but before the video gets started, I wanna thank you guys. Um, right now we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I've been showing so much love on my channel, but just remember, smash that like button for me. Make sure you subscribe. Let's get it. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the first piece, and I'm gonna go starting off with this side, okay? So this collection, is that real heat, it's that real drip, you know what I'm talking about, okay? And for the first eight pieces here, you know what I'm saying? That super, super drip. Um, I was like, my girlfriend actually gave me these. So whenever they went to the Philippines, um, a lot of these shirts, they're all hand-painted, graphic tees. They were able to go ahead and buy a whole bunch, in a sense, and they just had a whole bunch of them. They stumbled across it, and they bought them in oversized fits, so it was able to fit me and whatnot, and I was just, I was just super, super excited when I saw them. So, you guys did not know, she is half Dominican and half um, Filipino. So, whenever they go to the Philippines and whatnot, there's this really, really nice shirt. So, for these next upcoming shirts, like, I ain't gonna tell y'all they fight. So, let me go ahead and pull out this first one. For all these pieces, I'm gonna put them up full screen so you guys can go ahead and take a look at them. But this first one, Literally wear it so much, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So we got a regular Philippine shirt. It says Manila. I guess it's like one of the capital cities or like a major city in the Philippines. And bro, when I tell you, it's so freaking nice. And as you guys can see in this right corner, it literally says hand painted. And this is really, really nice. You got, um, you got so this shell in the background. You got like a little marketplace. Jollibee, if you don't know. If you guys don't know what that is, go ahead and try it out. They have some in Houston. And it's just overall a very, very nice graphic tee. I can put together so many outfits with this. And in my following video, the next video that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a lookbook with the top 10 pieces behind me. So we got this first piece. I like it a lot. It's nice. It's that subtle drip. And I like it a lot because this, this, that, like this, that, I like to call that one of one drill. I know you don't got it because it was from the Philippines. And I know you ain't going to the Philippines anytime soon. Okay, so let's go on to the second piece. So we have this one in black. This one is in white. Okay, so we have just the regular Philippines in bamboo and essentially it shows the islands that are covered in the Philippines. Yeah, the Philip. Yep, the islands. You just have a few islands just going all, of, all over. I don't want to butcher any names, so I'm not going to say it. But then they have like a full, they have like a uh, nice little designs or whatnot. You see the Philippine Sea and whatnot. But like I said, like these shirts, they're really, really nice. Very, very good quality, bro. Like so much. Like I wear these shirts so freaking much. The quality is literally amazing. Hand painted as well. I got to emphasize that because that is super, super important with these. And these graphic tees, it's just, they're so unique. Like every single time I step out with one of these shirts, speaking of <laughs> some more, I'm wearing one currently. 
people always ask me, oh shoot, where do you get it? Uh, on a few occasions, they're like, oh my gosh, you, you go to the Philippines, yada, yada, yada. And then I go ahead and I explain it and whatnot. But I really do love these shirts like so, so much. <laughs> it's literally almost half the collection that I chose. Just so you guys know, this is about 80% of all the gravities that I have. I have a few more. I don't want to say a few more. I got quite a few more, but I want to save it for a different collection video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, mess with that like button. Okay, so we have this one. It's the Philippine um, Eagle. It's tough. Like I can lie, it's tough. It's really, really tough. Look at this artwork. Amazing, amazing graphic across the whole shirt. None of these shirts have anything on the back, but amazing quality is top notch. It's like this it paints the whole picture. You got the tree right here. You got the eagle going to little eagle babies, or I guess it's supposed to be like a family, so to speak, for a little fish for the little babies and whatnot. So just overall, like I said, these. Philippine shirts are literally so fire, bro. I love them so much. I feel like it adds a, it just adds that nice little creativity or uniqueness to like my drip and whatnot. And this is the fourth one. So the, the past two, those are more white. This one is a little bit of an off-white color. So this is our islands have it, Babuhai, Philippines. Maybe Filipino, you know, Babuhai. <laughs> and yeah, so essentially again, Jollibee. Jollibee, I guess that's like their safe way. I ain't gonna lie, like I, it's literally in like three of the shirts. Um, you got the little cart thing, little bus that's driving them down to a little cave. You got a volcano up over here. You got the city life over here, the mountain. It's, they just put the, they just paint a whole, like a really, really beautiful picture within each and every single one of these shirts. And that's why it's so fire. It's so drippy. You know what I'm talking about? So we're going to move on to the fit shirt. This one is in gray. It's another <laughs> Philippine. So I said a Philippine adventure. Yeah, the Philippines adventure. And since we have the same, like, this jeepney wrap. Or well, the same, like, little bus thing. It's flying over the earth and whatnot. Out of the galaxy. It's another nice drip one. I'm saying like if you've watched any of my videos, I'm pretty sure you you would have seen each and every single one of these shirts. I literally these are like in my rotation for sure. Okay, now we're going to I don't wear these as much. We're still in the Philippine. The, we're still doing the. We're still going over the Philippine shirts. I got about eight of them. Eight of them. So this one it's a colored one. I don't wear it as so much. It's still very very nice, hand painted as well. It looks like this might be a little bit of a resort or whatnot. It's nice, chill, cool. And like, you know what I'm saying? It's all these. I mainly wear like the solid, all, obviously all these are solid colors, but I wear like the black, like the previous five, I wear those the most, but this one is still fire. It's a piggyback off that one. I also have it in blue. Obviously it has a different design. It says uh, chocolate hills and whatnot. This is all of the Philippine, uh, the Philippine islands. This is very, very nice. And no, I have not been to the Philippines yet, but trust me, I am. I just gotta remember whenever I go traveling, whatnot. Don't drink water when you travel in other countries, because it will put you on a toilet. So that's what I like. That's what I heard. Okay, so we've gone through a lot of shirts so far, and this is the last Philippine. The, the Philippines collection, so to speak. So we got one in pink. It says, uh, Barack guy, if I didn't butcher that. And I guess this is like the resort island. Again, nice hand painted and whatnot. Ooh, so as of right now, we just finished the graphic tees for the Philippines collection. Literally, they give to me with all eight of these shirts. I really have, I think, closer to 10. I just didn't put them all over. Yeah, and on top of that, I'm wearing one. So right now, we're gonna get into a few more unique pieces if you haven't watched this video it's going to be linked up right here i have a best tour merch video of 2019 i got the best tour merch of 2020 coming soon and when i tell you guys it's going to be absolutely fire so this is going to be a little little throwback so right here we got that drip too hard don't stand too close you know what i'm saying this is the gun this is my first piece of gun bro uh i still remember it to this day why wow, i love the piece so much I wasn't gonna buy anything. This is whenever he dropped, I guess his first album, maybe second one. I wasn't gonna buy any of his merch. Cause I was like, bro, it, he didn't come hard. Like it was actually trash. But then I went, there was one piece that dropped. It was like a follow up. And then I was just like, it was this shirt. And I was like, bro, should I cop it? Cause I really don't know. I went to sleep. This is when I was in my dorm freshman year. And I woke up like an hour later and I was like, bro, if I don't pull the trigger on this, I will forever regret it. So I went ahead and I copped it. I messed with it. I literally love this piece. It, it's, it was unique. Like if you had more pieces like this, I know I would have purchased a whole lot more, but this was definitely the best piece out of his drop. 
All right, all right, all right, man. And for this piece right here, as you guys can see from the back, I do have a Travis Scott merch collection video coming out soon. My collection, I'm gonna combine it with some of the pieces my girl has because she gets oversized shirts and we kind of like, we, we be, you know what I'm saying, give or take, we be sharing. So that's the oversized feel. All of my shirts are oversized and whatnot. So I got a pretty hefty collection that I'm gonna be releasing within probably the coming weeks and whatnot. So this shirt is a reversible shirt. This is the first side. This is the Astral World. It's the skeleton head. I like this side more than the other side. Let me go ahead and flip it. Of course, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys full screen, but for the video's sake, I still wanna go ahead and show you guys the side. So you have like, this looks like a little sperm cell thing and it says, stop trying to be God, if y'all know his song, and then it's God and I guess the sperm. So I didn't really understand this side. That's why I never went ahead and I don't rock it this way. But, um, main reason why I went ahead, I remember this shirt cost about $40. Travis, he was going crazy, just, you know, introducing slash like releasing a whole bunch of newer pieces for like his collections and whatnot. And I was just like, it was my first time actually seeing someone put a reversible shirt. It's really, really good quality. Um, and you know, I really, really liked one side and I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna have a bonus side if I ever wanna wear it or whatnot. So I made sure that I went ahead and got this piece, but ooh, <laughs> but as we can see, it's a nice, very unique graphic. And I, I'm hoping that you guys are like getting a good taste of like my, what I kind of like, at least when it comes to like graphic tees, I try to go for, I don't wanna say more loud items, but more very unique in detail to where like it's very distinctive, you know what I mean? And it's like, if you have that piece, you'll know, but it's not a piece that's gonna get, you know, mixed up with everyone else. So as we can see right here, I am, it's greater than I was, I am greater than I was. I was gonna have to link it, the freaking 21 Savage concert is gonna be linked up right here. It was literally an amazing time. If y'all know me, I love freaking concerts, especially for artists that, you know, I really mess with and I like their music. You know, I gotta go ahead and get something. Like if I go to a concert, my mission, number one plan or like number one thing I gotta check off is getting some merch. Even if most of it sells out, I gotta go ahead and get something, but I always try my best to get what I consider to be the best. So right here, we have, I am greater than I was, going across, and it says the 20, tour in 2019. And I like this because I really like the butterfly theme, aesthetic, you know what I'm saying? Um, it kind of rubbed off on me from Cardi, um, his first concert time. He was the one, in my opinion, who really put on a butterfly, like, wave see a lot of people do like butterflies with the i guess it's like holo not holographic but it's like it'll have that little shine to it this one it's a butterfly however right down in the middle it has a knife and the reason why i love this piece i said earlier it's really the concert it's really the memory that like goes with this piece which is why it's just like you know each and every single time i pull out this shirt or like you know majority of my tour merch shirts it's just like bro i literally have a story to tell for the most part or just a process i want to just gather that piece all right, all right, all right. And now this one, this one, I had this one for a minute. Like I'm talking about, I had this piece for years. Probably got this one when I'm in high school. If you guys don't know, I'm 20 years old. I'm about to be an incoming junior, or you can say I'm officially a junior. I'm about to be in college in my junior year. So this is the hundreds. I don't think the hundreds is popping like they used to. However, like I still mess with them. Like they still come up with stuff. So this one, it was um, Think Huge. It's just Think Huge. And you have like the hundreds logo in various colors you got green yellow orange red purple and blue uh just think huge at the back i just really vibe with it i wanted to have more colors um you know i like pink i mess with it it's like a, you know what i'm saying i really did mess with it nice little logo stands out it's different but you know yeah like this piece i just really wanted it you know what i'm saying i didn't break the bank i was really messing with it and i was like bro come on let me just copy it you know what i'm saying and i really like the thing thank you because you know with this channel i feel like i really need to <laughs> i'll be having to thank you to kind of try to come up with you know more refreshing better content and whatnot and now for this piece yeah i got a story to tell for this so my girl my girlfriend thanks francesca for those of you guys who don't know essentially for like she wanted to surprise me with a gift she at the time she just knew how much i love freaking tour merch and just like graphic tees and whatnot and i had a lot of favorite artists at the time it was like cardi uzi and like various others but those were like the two i was streaming the most at the time and she found like this thing on instagram it was like this this place i forgot the website or whatever but they make graphic tees and 
Oh, this one, this one is so tough. So it was Lil Uzi, <laughs> Lil Uzi Bird. You know what I'm talking about? It was Lil Uzi Bird versus the world. It's basically like a mashup of him. Like it kind of reminds me of some of my thumbnails. Y'all go check out some of my videos. You'll see like it's kind of like the mashup of pieces. And I really, really did mess with it. Um, it has a different type of feel though. Like it fits in a different type of way. Like it's an oversized feel, but it's more snug. So it's like. Think of a sundress. That's the best thing that I could go ahead and say this. Obviously, it's not gripping my body like that. Relax. But that's essentially what it, I could like say this type of material or like the fitting slash sizing kind of goes as. It's more of a snug shirt kind of how this one kind of hugs more, but it hugs more around like the waist slash like, you know, just body area and whatnot. So it is different. Don't get me wrong. It is, it is different, but I mess with it. I'm so glad that, you know, she got it for me and I'm so glad I have a piece like this in my collection because some of Uzi's merch, I'm really, I don't mess with so far. You know what I mean? And now, now we got the last and final piece. Um, shoot, let's just go ahead and just grab it. Right over here, this was, ah, uh, I don't fully remember. No, nah, I do remember. Okay, so y'all already know 4PF, Four Pockets Full, Little Baby. Um, he dropped his stuff, but his stuff, I don't really call it like merch. It's like a clothing line. So I went over to the website and I seen it. I seen a lot of people. It was just a 4PF type of vibe, whatever. It was just like, you can see it, it had a little like, uh, what was the thing? Crystals. There was like the one with the little crystals on it. It was a lot of regular shirts. And I'm just like, man, if he has something unique, different, I'll copy it. And like I said, I told you guys how much I kind of like the butterfly theme and whatnot. So I was able to go ahead and stumble across this piece and like i guess it says the four somewhere in here it's supposed to be like four pockets full right over there and you know i mess with it bro and i'm not gonna lie to you guys like i wear this shirt a decent amount and i always forget that it's 4 pf i always forget that it's low baby and that's why i have it oh shoot this is definitely a piece i'm gonna have to include in the best tour months of 2020 so this is the last and final piece. I, I rock with this piece, bro. I just remember I was going through a site for a cool bit of time just trying to find a piece that I feel like is worthy and whatnot. And that is, as of right now, this is the graphic tee collection. Like I said, the video is probably gonna follow this one. It's gonna be a graphic tee try on haul. And essentially, I'm gonna pick my top 10 pieces from all of these. I'm gonna try them on with like just a generic fit. I probably have like cargo pants They're on like some revenge storms just so you guys can get like a cool idea of how these pieces will look on me or like the sizing that I go for like, you know, my shirts, my graphic tees. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, I just have to say you smash up this like button. If you're new to the channel, what are you waiting for, bro? Go ahead, smash that subscribe button. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers, but the real goal is 50,000 subscribers by my birthday, December 15th. I'm going to keep grinding, pushing out the video. So if you didn't like up this video, subscribe if you are new. And again, guys, just thank you for all the support. Uh, I've been literally smashing so many of my videos. You know, literally within this month alone, we have gained over 500 new supporters. <laughs> like, like, um, that is literally like how, like that, like in a one month, I gained literally six months of work per, like, like essentially what i'm trying to say is the fact that just thank you guys for the support and you know just joining the family and whatnot but anyway support chris leah aka c easy and i'm out i got a lot on my mind six in and oh and that's a nine nine i got ak with the scores and nine nine